Hi everybody, this is Roxy. So, I've got a bunch of stuff. After my sister, my sister passed away, um, she had continued to live in our home, our family home. So, she was the keeper of all the family stuff. And we're now just trying to go through that. Because my other sister bought the house after my father died and before my mom died. So that my mom wouldn't have to be liable for it or whatever, you know, pay um, mortgage without any income other than Social Security. So it's a lot of information. But anyways, so um, my sister's going to probably want to sell the house. So we definitely need to clean everything out. And that's what we've been doing since July 4th. <clears throat> Not a pretty sight. The basement is full. The attic's full. The garage is full of stuff. Um, so we've been kind of getting rid of stuff. And of course I've been trying to save stuff. Um, and this is what I've saved so far. We have my uncle's, my dad's brother's gorgeous birth certificate. Or baptism certificate, I'm sorry. And I scanned it in. But, you know, unfortunately it's been folded for so long. But I think it still would be really pretty to frame. It's just really pretty colors. And this was published by Minneapolis Vecoblad Publishing Company. I never heard of that one. And I was in publishing in the Twin Cities. I... It must have been a really, really old one. Because most of it was Brown and Bigelow Publishing. Um, they're still here. Anyways, um, then I found my dad's Navy dress cap. And he had put, folded up paper and put it around the band to keep it in storage. So that it wouldn't crumple. So I found this. And I scanned that in. Unfortunately with my printer, this... When I print it, this comes out kind of a pink, like a weird pink color. But it's such a cool f image. And it's for Krispy Kreme crackers, sunshine crackers. Fresh and ready, unlike her. <clears throat> Here's the back of it. The Boston Sunday Globe, November 14th, 1943. So we were still at war. And my dad was still in the Navy. He was stationed in Guadalcanal, which was pretty rough. So, but he lived through it and lived to have five kids. Um, okay, that's... I don't remember this part. It's like, what a weird name. Dehydrated pet dog food. It's the same fine part. So I just kind of wanted to keep some of this stuff. Cool picture of a house. A little old woman. Phillips was still around or was around then too and now. Hugger caps. And morning freshness. Lady with the problem. Sunshine crackers. All right, and then <clears throat> as far as books, these are, I mean, we had tons of books. They were either my grandma's on either side of the family, uh, my dad's, my mom's, uh, my grandma's, my mom's aunt's, tons of books. And I have one upstairs I forgot to bring down on St. Paul. It is so cool. I love it. So here is the greatest thing in the world. This was from somebody, oh, from Belle, who's my grandma. And I'll put a picture of her in here, draped in a flag. She was beautiful. Her whole, her siblings, they were very handsome and very pretty. The boys were handsome, the girls were pretty. And there was 11 kids. So anyways... This is just really, I mean, it's still held up. This is suede. And then this was um, on both sides, but it really fell apart on here. And I just tore it all out. 
because every time I opened it, a chip would fall out. But it's just beautiful. And it's uh, kind of a book about the Ten Commandments and Jesus. So it's really cool. It's, unfortunately, a lot of it is musty, and I have problems with that, with my allergies and whatnot. But I'm going to take one for the team. <clears throat> I can already feel my uh, throat getting bad. But anyways, here's a gorgeous book, Poetry of Flowers. I've looked it up, and I find um, versions of it, but not this cover. When Livy, I just don't have my rings on yet. Just in case you're wondering. And this is from my mom's Aunt Eulalie, which is her mom's sister, obviously. So this must have been to her sister, Belle, which was my grandma. Because in 1905, my mom went to been born yet but it's a beautiful book then I had some fairy tale books one of my own actually that I had in um, oh and this was with it it's like some kind of plastic it's beautiful and that's French they were French my grandma and her family But actually, we have no French. So they must have just, you know, back in those days, they really can't tell where people were really from. Um, this was a really cool music uh, book, so I cut out the pages, and I thought I'd still use this. Unfortunately, I did a little oopsie. It was hard cutting. So I gotta, I'll have to fix that. But it's such a, pre such a pretty cover. Very Art Deco. Mm, actually, that would be Art Nouveau, as with this one. For more filigrees. And, and then look at this gorgeous thing. Not that, but this. So cool. I even love the modeledness. So that's really pretty. I mean, nowadays, it's just a cheap little book with a paper cover. And this I thought, Bill especially thought I better keep that one. Because uh, again, the, the the pages were so musty smelling that you just could not keep it. And then this, my dad got a lot of these books in recognition of faithful attendance. He has about three of them throughout the years when he was little. And then I also have a little New Testament that they gave him one year. And then this is my book from... There's my little handwriting. My teacher gave it to me in 1967 on my birthday. And I don't remember this book. I usually remember a lot of... Like, I have a lot of recognition of, mem you know, memories and things. And I honestly, this did not stand out at all. But I must have really liked it. But it's pretty cool. I um, probably will keep this intact just because. But it's really neat um, illustrations. And a lot of these, I took the illustrations out and we'll scan those and use those. Now this is my sister that passed away was an incredibly gifted um, artist like no other. I mean, she could do everything. Beautiful calligraphy, watercolors, oils. She started with oil painting in high school, and then eventually later on in life, watercolor was her go-to. So um, here's just a really nice magazine. I She kept and I thought I'd keep. It's got a lot of ideas and Examples. And I have a whole portfolio. Like she kept everything. Everything. She has, like she went to um, uh, school to be an art director and did a lot of um, architectural rendering so they can learn perception and all this and that. And she kept everything. So this is all her notes on her watercolor class. And then she loved JFK. She went to Washington, D.C. 
in high school and got, probably got, um, yeah, these, she would have gotten these in high school. Because he died in 62. So that's my other sister. She was developmentally disabled. And these are her people. She loved drawing. So, I mean, look at how cute. They all were always happy, which is awesome. And she learned how to write her name. She never got to the doozy, but she got that far. She passed away three years ago. We miss her so much. She was always happy to see you. And she knew she could recognize people that she knew 20 years ago and, and could recognize them across the street. She literally did that. My sister's house. Oh, these are like little dogs. She loved our dogs. Always when she'd call, how's your puppy? Oh, she's fine. Yes. And then here's Jackie's. I mean, it's like perfect. But here's her art direction and stuff that she did. There's nothing there. Well, that'd be kind of fun to show it. I remember doing this stuff too. Screwdriver. Buddy Rich. She and my other two sister, or she and my other sister were drummers. Izzy wasn't a drummer, but she did like to sing. And then this is Jack's initials. I think this is, um, I can't remember what it's called when you do that. I can't remember. Definitely a 70s girl. That is so awesome. And this is cool 70s furniture. Frisket, that's frisket. And then that's my grandma when she, just before she passed away. I don't know what she was doing with this. She was so beautiful, look at it. She had a dog and they, my mom and her because she, you know, my mom was an only child, and the father left when she was three, and um, they had a dog, and they called it Damn It. So they, and she, my mom had always left. Well, we never swore, but you know, she'd call the dog, Damn It, come home. Here's Jackie's skeletal rendering. There's some more, and my dad. I have. I found my dad's, he was going to school to be a draftsman or engineer, and I found his portfolio. So that, and I never saw his stuff. So it was really cool to see. I don't know what that is. So, I don't know how long I'll keep all of this. I probably won't keep all of it. But my brother and sister don't want any of it. <clears throat> I don't even know why I would keep it. But I'm gonna. I can keep it like that. Alright, so that is just a fun little look into the band doozy history. Um, so I might show more stuff. If anybody's interested, I can. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.